Swole Benji here. Today I'm going to tell you everything that I know about the musket and the bow, and I'm going to show off its power at level 60 with maxed out weapon mastery as well as all your stats and all of your item stats pumped into dexterity, okay? If I had gear score 600 items, I can get this to about 445, maybe 465, 470, somewhere around there. But it's it's pretty darn close, and after level 250 or 250 points into dexterity, it does have diminishing returns. But pumping it all into dex allows me to scale both the musket and the bow, because the bow does not scale at all off intelligence, whereas the musket can scale slightly off intelligence. So let me talk about the bow first. Now I just want to uh, quickly mention that I'm using a 523 musket uh, and a 503 bow. And they both have 30% uh, additional damage against foes with, with full health. And as far as the weapon mastery goes, they are both designed to deal as much damage as possible with the very first shot. So let me also show you here. If we hover over a musket, you can see that a standard attack does 100 thrust damage. And on the bow, you have a short draw for 100 damage, 100% damage, or long draw for 170% damage. Now, here's some tips with the long draw. This is what a long draw looks like. When I hold left click, it's going to pull the arrow back, and that is a long draw. So how do you know when it's ready to long draw? Okay, so when you have 150 dexterity, your rolls will only cost 40 stamina. Look at the bottom of my screen in the middle. I'm going to roll backwards, and you will see my stamina bar, okay? Uh, so that costs 40 stamina. So here's how long it takes for you to reach hard draw. While you're holding left click, when you roll, it will reset your draw. Now... As soon as that stamina bar fills up, that is when your heavy draw is completely maxed out, okay? And once you learn the timing, you can get a lot of shots very quickly into animals. Now, I'm up here so this animal can reset. It's going to be my uh, target dummy, so I can kind of show off the damage. Also, I have a perk that when I roll, I increase my damage. So, 6,816 headshot, and you saw that the previous shot only did 3,000-something, okay? And I'm going to show that again. 6,302... See, that's a full heavy draw. I'm going to reset them again. Okay, this is just our little target dummy here. So, I'm going to let go a little early there. That's a body shot. Well, I need to do. I need to show you a head shot that is not fully drawn, okay? Which I already did once. Well, I'm going to do a roll into a draw, into a let go early. 3,241. All right, so you can see it's almost, it's almost half as much damage. Okay, and that is because of the perks of the bow give you so much more damage with heavy draw. Like, here's heavy attacks, deal 30%. Um, there's there's a lot of perks that add, add that damage up, and it scales, scales incredibly. And also beasts in general, because this lynx is a beast, it, it takes more damage from thrust damage. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, that's how hard we can basically hit something around our level reasonably armored. If I'm fighting another player, I can, I can hit them for about 4,200 in heavy armor with a headshot doing this. So that's about as hard as I can hit, and it, it's a little slow. Now, we have the power shot, and I'm just going to shoot that. That's 4,440, right? So it's pretty good. It's not the best. Uh, light shot, j just a regular little left click there, just trying to hit the cat. That's a body shot. That's a crit body shot. That's a regular hit body shot. A 2,800 body, 1,500 body, crit, non-crit. Let's get a headshot. 2,557 with the opener. And then the poison ticks uh, 20 seconds. Okay, for 160 or 123 per tick because the first hit was at 30% additional damage. So while it's not a lot, it's consistent. Okay? And uh, the poison, if it resets, it will, it will remain poisoned. And now let's see it. That ticked 140, now it's 123 again. The Reign of Arrows crits for 3,200, which you can always make it crit by rolling. That's the perk for having 300 dexterity, and it bleeds for 87. All right, so that's the bow. Now we have the musket, okay? So the musket has a fire shot, and I want it to stop bleeding and being poisoned, so it'll it'll fully reset and we can get a uh, maximum damage headshot. Did it just... Oh, there it is. There we go. So this ticks for 213, right? Which may not sound like much, but you, you take the 213, you take the 120, and you take the 80. So it, you can ha you can tick players for about, four, and this is with players too, around 400 damage a second consistently. And then if, if my bow had a uh, bleed on it, that would be even more. So it, it adds up incredibly fast in wars. Like if I poison, pile people in a war, shoot 
shoot the this arrow, the rain of arrows at them, and then hit hit just one guy, just like a person on a cannon with this. They can't get on the cannon. They have to like seek help and heal. All right, and then finally too, we have a shooter stance. I do have the perk on, I think my gun that uh, increases my damage after the first shot. So 2,900, and then we have a 1,600. Uh, I can't aim any lower, so I also don't want this cat to die, so I can show you uh, just how much things do. And it's still on fire, so we're going to reset it and let the fire buff run out. But I'm going to show you some tips and tricks too. Now, here's the zoom. You can zoom in. It's pretty cool. Uh, it, it really does help. And bam, 2,870. Again, this is on beasts. Beasts take more damage from guns. On a player, it's about 2,300, okay? If I shoot a player running off in the distance, it takes about 2,300. Now, here's a gripe about the guns, okay? If I'm with my back against the wall and I aim, sometimes the player model will block what I'm looking at. Like, right now, it's not, but it did it, it, did it just a bit earlier. It was it was kind of weird. Like, like the, play, the camera just kind of got all wonky. See how it's zoomed in right now? It's fine, right? But sometimes your player's head will be in the center of the screen and you can't see anything. It's really annoying. All right, so as far as the musket goes, you can shoot, you can dodge, and then you can shoot again. And if you get three headshots, you can shoot again immediately afterwards. That's pretty much your DPS. When you're kneeling, you can shoot much faster with the shooter stance up to five shots. You can hear me clicking rapidly, and then you'll have to stand up and then reload. Uh, sometimes while reloading, uh, if you try to throw a trap, you will be trapped in this animation where you your, animate, your reload will not finish, and you can't throw your trap because it's being interrupted by your reload. So... There we go, we threw the trap down. Now, the thing about the traps is it's not very good in PvP, and another thing about these traps is that some monsters, higher level elites, just can walk through it and nothing happens. Also, um, a player with a rapier can use their flesh ability, which is, um, fletch? I don't know how to say it. It's that little, like, dash forward ability that they have. Now, those players, when they kill something with that ability, it, re it gives, like, an 80% cooldown reduction. So they can basically dash twice, right? So when they dash through your trap, it counts as a kill. Also, any other player breaking your trap that has like an on-kill activation perk, activates it. Um, when you're in a war and there's tons of AoEs going around, cannons blowing up, people casting spells everywhere, like, like you know, archers dumping this everywhere, it's going to break your trap. So these traps are essentially for PvE, they're basically useless. Um, once you get such a high power level, you don't even need to use traps on these kinds of enemies because you can kill them so quickly, right? Uh, so trap becomes pretty darn useless at level 60. Uh, right now, currently, the basic ammo, which is only, uh, you know, 100 damage modifier and 105, is pretty cheap at a penny. The Auric Alchem bullets are a dollar each. Same with the arrows. Now, to simulate the damage of an Auric Alchem... I'm going to go ahead and use this, uh, now this says 200% increased damage, it's actually 20, we're going to go down here, and it also says 200%, but it's actually only 20%, okay? So now we do 2,975 instead of the 2,800. So when you upgrade your bullets and you pay 100 times the price, you're doing 100 more damage a shot to, to a beast. It's only 50 more damage to a player, it's really not that much, it's, it's absolute garbage, okay? And yes, I know in beta that these whetstones were only, or not whetstones, these honing stones were only a 7% damage increase. But uh, it's 20% right now, I don't know why, that's the math on it. Ask Reddit, I'm not a mathematician, okay? Uh, if I was, I wouldn't be doing YouTube. So that's pretty much it for the, the bow and the musket. Now, these are all level 20, like you can see that I, I took um, all the perks in the bow that allow me to run faster. But here's the gripe too with that, which it's been stealth nerfed because it didn't do this in the beta. When you're running and you, and you, uh, like, I'm gonna run with a gun first. You run and you do the roll and you animation cancel by sheathing and unsheathing, right? It doesn't stop your rolling animation. This is what it looks like when you just roll normal. You see how there's, like, a little stop there where you have to, like, bend your knee back straight to get off the ground? Well, anim here's the animation cancel. There's no stopping, right? But with the bow, and what I've found, this doesn't happen all the time, but it happens most of the time, is when you try to do this, sometimes unsheathing and sheathing your bow, it's not doing it right now, but it, it will randomly do it to you, and then it, you'll be stuck until you die. Um, it will stop you even longer than if you just rolled forward without animation canceling. So basically what you do is with the bow, uh, when you, you gain 10% haste when you swap your weapon, which is just sheathing and unsheathing, okay? And you gain 10% when you dodge. So, essentially, you can run at 20% speed nearly all the time. However, since beta, they've added a cooldown to both of these. You can see the little icons at the bottom just kind of doing their thing, right? 
So, um, another fun thing with the gun, too. I want you to see the reload speed real quick. So I'm going to shoot, and then reload, and shoot. So now, check out the speed when I empty all of my stamina. So I have no stamina. Look how slow the reload is now. <laughs> Look at that. Like, I was not able to reload until my entire stamina bar filled. So I'm going to show you that again. I'm going to just completely empty my stamina, and then fire. And then look how slow this is. Like, look how long that took. All right, but when you fire normally, it's it's pretty quick. Well, it's still pretty slow, but you get the point. When you are out of stamina, you should not reload, okay? You're a sitting duck. Also, your movement speed is greatly slowed while you reload compared... Like, you can't sprint, okay? Uh, you just can't. So there's that. Um, you can't stack the fire dot from the burning bullet. Um, this is a pretty big one that um, got nerfed too from preview is you used to be able to like wait on your cooldown you see how my burning bullet my powder shot cooldown is almost over right so what you used to be able to do is you would shoot someone load another powder shot and then shoot them again they would have two burns this is no longer the case uh, also i haven't tested this but people have also reported that the perk here 30 percent damage on first hit on full health target in the intelligence tree does not scale at all with the powder shot it does scale with the gem, but it doesn't scale on the intelligence perk. Also, I was told that the duration to damage over time spells does not work on Powder Shot. I have not tested this. Uh, it did work in beta. I have not tested it on live. But, um, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a shame. And I think I missed all of those. Uh, oh, that's cool. The tree moved when I shot arrows at it. I did not know that. That's cool. Um... <laughs> Also, for those that don't know, the power, the the pure, what the heck? There's a player down, wait, no, they're coming up the ridge, okay. This stuns monsters and, and enemies. Oh yeah, there's a player and he's flagged. I'm not flagged though, I'm alright. Uh, so the 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 piercing shot, what, whatever, what is this called? I don't know what the spell is even called. It's called penetrating shot, okay? This is really good when you kite a bunch of enemies and they all line up for you, or you just shoot into a big pile of people in a war. It's pretty darn good. Uh, this stuns monsters, though. If a monster is swinging on you and you hit them with this, they will be knocked out of their swing animation and reset. It's, it's pretty cool. But uh, other than that, there's not really a lot of tri tips and tricks with the bow. Sometimes the server lags and you could, sh you could double shoot your bow and you could also double shoot your gun. It won't take your ammo, but it will do client side damage to your target, which is really neat and really powerful. Uh, I also want to say that doing musket in PvE can be a pain in the butt because if... You're, like, shooting at a humanoid, and they take damage, and they are not in the middle of an animation. Their head will swing all over the freaking place. It's like one of those, um, boxing little red things that the boxers just kind of, like, slam really, really rapidly, you know, into itself. Um, like the... While they just kind of, like, spin their, their hands, their fists in a circular frontal motion. Right? I don't know what they're called. But that's what their heads do. Uh, and so it's really hard to get headshots, okay? Um, I just, uh, t to be honest, I have played several, s s I don't know, how, how many hours have I played this game now? Ten days worth. And I think I've spent, like, at least a hundred plus hours using the bow and the musket now in retail. Uh, live, not in the beta. I spent more in the beta and it was really good, but now they kind of suck. Okay, I'm not liking the bow. Uh, I'm getting out damaged in wars by fire staff and ice, ice gauntlet users. So, I don't think that they are the kings of DPS anymore in wars. They're not the kings of DPS and dungeons. They're great for hunting monsters, no, hunting animals. Like, this is so sad, a little poor cat. Um, but <laughs> uh, that's that's its only real use that I can tell you, and it's not worth dumping everything into decks for. Okay? Yeah, I, I can two shot a, a bison. I can even one shot a, a level sixty bison if I use the charge shot into its head after a roll. Okay. I can one-shot a bison, so what? And yeah, you can, like, look at that, I almost one-shot the lynx. I don't know why lynxes have more health, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> see, look at this. This, this is obviously when you'd switch to the musket, and you can just say, get good, why don't you get good, huh? You, like, every time I watch your videos, you miss shots with the musket, bro. Not only was I an ex uh, cal I person in Counter-Strike, I have played several professional tournaments. I've been in the MLG for Halo. Okay, I know my shooty games. I know my first-person shooter games. I've played them my entire life, okay? So if I can't land shots, that means um, that only maybe 16-year-olds with Adderall can land shots. It can slow the literal space, the fabric of space and time. Um, <laughs> but essentially, these weapons are just frustrating and they're a pain in the butt to use. 
they do a lot of damage, but they're also very vulnerable. And another thing, too, is uh, you will be animation locked. Like, let me, let me just explain, okay? I'm kneeling and I'm, and I'm shooting. Now a guy is swinging on me. I'm hitting my roll button. I'm hitting my roll button. Like, it, it's it's delayed, okay? Whereas when you use any other weapon, you can put your guard up immediately. Uh, you can roll out of the way without an animation lock. Let's say I'm shooting this. I'm trying to roll here. Look how long that took until my roll activated. I know to you it, it seemed pretty instant, but it's not, okay? Or I'm doing a charge shot. And I'm trying to roll. I'm trying to roll. There's at least... I'll, there's a whole second, like a global cooldown before I can roll after uh, like unleashing a bullet or an arrow. It's just it's just not good for PvP. It's not that good. Even when you land shots, like if you say you're an archer and you're shooting somebody, and you're getting constant headshots, right? In between your shots, because you shoot arrows so damn slowly, they can just drink a potion or run away or seek cover. If I'm shooting someone, they can just stand behind this freaking rock and I can't do anything. Okay, sure, I can hit him with this, maybe, if I can shoot around it. I can hit him with a little poison arrow behind it, sure. They can just sit there and eat food, and they're fine. Uh, piercing shot does not go through the rock. There's literally nothing I can do with the musket. There's, there's like, maybe if I had a grenade skill, which is really clunky and stupid, I could throw a grenade behind their cover. But, <laughs> it's... <laughs> These weapons, I don't recommend anyone use the musket or the bow. Um, I... I feel kind of like I wasted a lot of my time leveling up engineering to, to make the musket build. Uh, it's been heavily nerfed and it doesn't work so well anymore, and I'm really upset about that. But I do understand why it needed to be nerfed. Uh, however, uh, that's just my review on the bow and the musket, and I hope you found some info that was useful. Like the reload time thing, uh, which another YouTuber taught me, so congrats to him. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, just... Uh, guys... Use another weapon. These weapons aren't that great. If you want to be ranged, um, right now the meta is is the guy's gone at the fire staff. I'm gonna be personally using a life staff next. I, I think that like I've seen high focus healers hitting mobs. They do more damage than me with my musket and max dex. It's really silly. It's really stupid. Anyway, guys, I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Now I will say that the musket, just having one in your inventory is really cool because you could like zoom in, use it like a like a binoculars kind of. Uh, guys, make sure that you leave a like and a comment. You gotta do both, because when you do both, it is an algorithm combo. It is a YouTube cheat code, okay? Also, 81% of you aren't subscribed, so please hit the subscribe button. I really do appreciate everyone that subscribed. Let's let's hit 100,000. Um, I'm not sure if there's even enough New World players to hit 100,000 that watch these, but I would really appreciate all the help. I plan to play video games and, until the day I die, and I will try to make a video every single day for you. And preferably a game that people are, a lot of people are playing, and, and a game that you can play for a very long time without getting bored. Um, also, if you're concerned about the downvotes, I've been brigaded by a 500,000 YouTuber channel because I my, my guild basically took his territory in Weaver's Fin, okay? So he's really upset about that, and he's taking out it out on my channel for some reason. I don't know. Um, you know, dude's got some issues. But uh, at the same time, he, he's got a lot of very interesting viewpoints that I agree with, so I, I, I kind of want to make peace with the guy, but I don't, he's not like opening a discussion with me, so I don't really have a way to talk to him. He literally banned me off his Discord before I even joined it, which is kind of funny. I mean, that means he had to look up my Discord name to add me to the ban list. Um, so whatever, man, like, <laughs> I guess he's really upset about it. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. I make videos every day for those that don't know, so I will see you in tomorrow's video. Take care.